the way we look in person is dependent on what we feed our body the same way a lot of our personality is formed by what we feed our mind we may or may not become successful later however the ingredients making our thoughts and ideas should be of top notch quality So here is a list of books that has shaped my body and mind and I'm sure will help you as well. The first one in my list is called Laws of Medicine. It is by Dr. Siddharth Mukherjee. This book teaches in a nutshell the basic thought process of being a doctor. For example, what is the difference between intuition and evidence? What is human bias? And what are the behavior of some maladies? Speaking of maladies, Dr. Siddharth Mukherjee is also the author of the Pulitzer Prize winning book called Emperor of Maladies. This book is about cancer and in his own words it is like a biography of cancer. I'm also of the thought that if you like a book by a particular author you might as well want to go and explore the other books written by the same author. I would rather follow authors than individual books so if you are curious about medicine in general or cancer in specific then dr siddharth mukherjee is your go to guy the next two books are by the same author dr atul gawande he is a surgeon in us and his book checklist manifesto is one of my all time favorites now if you are truly obsessed with your craft then sometimes you may lose the sight of the forest while focusing on the trees meaning you may be so deeply invested in the minute details of your craft your treatment your skills that you may lose sight of the overall direction in which your career or the treatment is going at such moments pulling in some inspiration from other industries can work like magic this is exactly the point of checklist manifesto we take inputs from airline industry the construction industry etc and use it to save lives the next book is called being mortal now death is not a simple thing to deal with for non medicals it is an emotional moment a physical loss and a moment of sadness however as a doctor it is all of the above plus just another day on the job here the story is told keeping the end of life patients in mind Here we learn to focus on the quality of life rather than just keeping someone alive with the help of support and medications. It makes me wonder can we consider death as a natural stage of life? If you are interested in surgery, then the next book has a lot of stories about famous patients and surgeries of the past. The book is called Under the Knife and it is beautifully written by a Dutch general surgeon. If you have interest in the world of surgery or are considering it as a profession, then this book might give you some context into the world of surgery and also pick your curiosity about where have we reached and where have we come from. So far, all the books that we spoke about are written by doctors and authors from first world countries working in state of the art hospitals and doing cutting edge research so i would feel a little detached from those stories because i had neither seen those places nor lived that life now imagine a normal person living in bangalore he is a little chubby a little funny a prolific actor a stand up comedian inventor of medical devices and also an ENT surgeon all rolled into one i am talking about dr jagdish chaturvedi now he seems like a person i can talk to without feeling formal he has written two books one is about inventing medical devices and the other is about failures of his life both are very eye opening reads It's great to learn from failures of someone closer to home and also if you're inclined to design an instrument or two under your name even that's possible under his guidance. The next book is perfect for students who are always running late for their class. 
or for a person like me who is always running short of time because he has too many things to do. Make Time by Jake Knapp and John Zeratsky is one of my favorite time saving hacks book mainly because you can read it in any order even one page at a time whenever you feel like it is written by people who worked at google basically smart people who designed the apps that suck all the free time we've got in our day so there's a lot of insider stuff in this book Okay, so this was a small list of books that I really enjoyed reading as a medical student, and they really helped me figure out the world of medicines, uh, something beyond what the textbooks can actually teach you. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. If there's anything else that you would like me to talk about, if there are any topic ideas, your thoughts, your comments, I really love. reading them please drop them down below as soon as you finish watching this video i hope you stay in touch like share subscribe and very soon i will see you in the next video